Well, guys, the panels are definitely looking bomb on this truck. I mean, it's just what it what it needed. I believe they're seven inch, maybe they're eight inch. I don't quite remember, but they are from Rainey's. And they turned out real good. You know, of course, we're just gonna repaint the fenders as soon as we bondo the other one. But like I said, these are from Rainey's and they did come cut right here. This part right here, we added ourselves. But probably should get something like that for the W9. Would probably look good. But then, of course, color matching is, is the toughest part is getting the right color. But that turned out pretty good color match. But anyways, we're still going to repaint it. See so yeah, ya guys, it's a dead week, man. It's uh, two and a half days of work is all we got. So we're gonna go ahead, polish this tank today. We're gonna do a couple other stuff to the truck and get it a little bit better looking. And you know guys, it's not that there isn't any work. There's a ton of work. I mean, I actually had two dispatchers this week calling me out for me some loads, but it's cheap. It's just, you know, I asked them what the rate is and you know, the rate is basically what it used to be with cheap fuel, even cheaper than that. You know, they're offering $800 to Portland from, you know, Tacoma to Portland, $800. That's, that's how it used to be always, you know, a $1,100 trip. So, you know, fuel is gonna go, you know, 250 bucks to 300 bucks on fuel you're gonna have you know 400 bucks left over you know might as well go be a driver or something right now but anyways uh, we'll wait it out see what happens you know maybe we'll hop on to something else all right we're gonna be polishing buffing out this tank it's very pitted probably has never been polished in about 20 years so what we're using is makita grinder with a five inch pad and just regular these velcro sandpaper we're gonna start off with probably 80 since it's uh pretty pitted we definitely got to remove the panel as yeah, well guys, these tanks are 20 years old no matter how long you work it you still can't get all the pitting out you probably need a whole day of sanding just to get all the pitting out my little minions over here wiping down my truck <laughs> we got this tank all polished out looking you know good enough guys considering it's a 20 year old tank and it still has a lot of pitting in there i mean i started at 40 grit and i probably put we put like maybe two hours just into sanding it down 40 to 60 80 grit 120 240 320 all the way up to 1000 grit guys and you know it's it's pretty much a mirror finish you know it looks good from a couple feet away but it is what it is guys and they're old tanks so yeah every all the aluminum's pretty much polished up wheels tanks just got to get some stainless steps and it'll really finish this truck off well guys we finally got a load not too bad you know these local runs they're still paying well, 500 bucks out here from Seattle to Kent, probably about 10, 12 miles. Anyways, you know, I did sit at home, guys, for so six, seven days. So after, you know, I got that tank polished out, I've been sitting, waiting, you know. And of course, guys, talking about $500 here for what, 12 miles, 15 miles max. I just got offered 600 bucks to go 300 miles down to Portland. You know, it's... <laughs> Guys, this kind of loads just make me want to get out of trucking right now. Either wait it out, but guys, I think this might be going up for sale. I don't know. 
still need to do some touch-ups before I do want to go ahead and sell it. I do want to fix the sunroof, guys. Actually, my dispatcher hooked me up with a whole new cab top. So I'm going to be deleting the sunroof. Just, you know, making sure, you know, next owner doesn't have to do as much stuff. It still, still needs a little bit of work. But the paint's not too bad, actually, guys. The, the most probably bad paint is the clear coat that's chipped on top. But other than that, the paint on this thing actually is pretty good. Got a, this is our new 20 inch bumper. You know, I'm surprised it's actually made it this far. Those who are new to the channel, seeing we installed this Peterbilt window in a Kenworth. And all new sleeper lights in the back here. Basically got rid of the fender extenders. They were all broken up. But yeah guys, the tanks are all done. We got new drive tires, all eight. All the wheels are polished up. Installed all new shocks in the back. Yeah, this guys, this truck has come a long way since the day we got it. Look back at pictures, can't believe <laughs> how much, how far we've got. You know, guys, probably the best thing about this truck is just how beautiful it runs. I mean, this Cat 6 and Z, I'm just amazed, guys. You know, after all that work, this was my first engine swap I ever done in a semi, and wow, we almost pretty much been driving a year. No problems, no issues. 12 gauge air ride. You know, guys, I would love to just like cruise down to the East Coast right now on this thing. It's just not my thing right now, you know, with three kids. I love being home every day, but of course, one day I will try it out, especially with maybe a stainless steel reefer or something like that. Well, I just got unloaded 45 minutes for 50,000 pounds of granite slabs. Not too bad. But yeah, guys, there has to be some kind of regulations or something put up with these brokers. I mean, you know, I just got offered all these cheap loads and I personally know three to four guys that just got out of trucking because they're tired of dealing with these brokers, you know? They just want us to work for free right now. It's hard to make any money, you know, if you guys are gonna accept the cheap rates they're offering. And you know your worth, guys, because once you do accept those cheap rates, Know, it's it's never good because that's that's what puts the whole trucking industry down but yeah guys enough rambling hope everybody has a rest the good rest of the week and like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one